So guys, in this video, uh, in the beginning, we're actually just showing you um, how we first started training Luna with uh, walking. At first, uh, when we did use a regular collar, she was, you know, doing the regular uh, puppy pulling. Um, and, you know, even though she is a puppy, she's still pretty strong and it can get a little, you know, uh, hectic and annoying when you're walking. Um, and you need to avoid certain things uh, in the puppy's pulling. So we bought a prong collar um, and here we're just seeing how she reacts to it and she's staying more on track and she's also staying closer. And that is the purpose of using a prong collar anyway. At a certain point, we are gonna take this off, but in the meantime right now, it's just uh, for training purposes. It's a different experience. I thought it would would hurt, but she hasn't been pulling, surprisingly. Like, that's a bad habit she has. But she hasn't been pulling. She checks with us for direction more. She's actually more susceptible to listen. It's a start, you know? This is a step one to hopefully one day her just walking. And once she can just walk beside us, exactly. our, our job is done. Yeah, exactly. So. Pour in some crickets from my guy. Yeah, so. You're going to put it through there? This side. Oh, you are? Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Hold her up. And he's off. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I can't win. Did you get it? I don't think he got it. Yeah, he did. He did? I, you dropped it? I dropped one. Oh, look, he went to it. I didn't, I didn't see that one. I think there's crickets underneath there. The hide, right? Go get it, bro. Look, you got two crickets on him over there. Go get it. Bro, if you don't go to your crickets. Oh, he went. He's going. He's going. He sees them, I think. got one right yeah bro it's right under you yo it's right there bro get it eat it bro why are you so hesitant leave me you. alone i don't want your food and get out my face oh there it is <laughs> well you just like teasing huh you're just a teaser So we're here and excuse my messy little reptile corner. We've had a lot of action going on this past week. <laughs> All right, so this is just an enclosure that we've had preset. If you ain't know, if you in between cleanings, in between handling, in between anything, keep this on deck. Does it Use matter it. if the animal's the same species? Use it. Use it, if you're handling one ball python, Going to the next ball python, use it in between. Because you, know. you don't want to touch a snake that may have a mite or something, and that mite sticks to you, and then you go touch the next snake. Now they all got mites, and that's not something nobody yep. wants to deal with. Yep, yep, yep. So just make sure. Just so you can catch them out, doing a little, a little, mm, rub it in, rub it in. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do. This is something I've been doing, what well, we've been doing for our, our uh, snake enclosures. Like, you know how sometimes you want to see where your snake is? Um, instead of actually opening it and like, you know, checking from there, sometimes they, they're they hiding. So we've been burying the hides. So like, for instance, you would make this space like this, right? Put the hide here and then kind of like bury it around and so when the snake does decide to hide here and you can't see it from the side all you got to do is lift it up and you'll see it from un underneath because underneath underneath is uh clear so we we found that as a good uh you know method and to keep track you know of where your snakes are at right now they're babies so <laughs> they're really small but uh yeah let me show you guys who we got here this is a uh, an ivory ball python. Um, very, very excited for this guy. 
Uh, we're not. We're actually not a hundred percent sure of what the sex is for this guy. Today was feeding day at the store. Exactly. See, if you can see, she has he or she has like a bulge. So we want to be very minimal in how we handle this this baby right here. We have to be very direct and on point because they can regurge and then that can affect their digestive system. So um, right now, I'm setting up the enclosure. Just for he or she her. is very small. So when they're small like that, you want to make sure every possible area, because they like to feel like they're sneaking around, even though they're not. You can see them. Yeah. But they like to feel like you don't see them. So you got to make it as if they're not even there. Exactly. So that that's why we put so many hides in. If you guys were wondering why, you know, we do yeah, things they, the way that they we always do. say to have more enrichment than less. And it's not going to hurt them. If you see with this guy, one, one thing that I'm really excited about this guy is that he looks like he's just completely white, but if you really, really look, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the cap off. No cap. And I'm gonna show you guys. If you really look, like he has a, a stripe in the middle of his body, and it's really, really cool. He just put, he just put down a hide there. We got a hide over here, so we got the the hot spot hide, cool spot hide. We got the water bowl. Gonna add the water now, and then we got some leaves for enrichment. And I think we're going good. This guy's very curious now. I feel like he he's like, I know I'm about to get out now. I feel like he's he's gonna we're just gonna open it and he's just gonna go out. I really don't wanna like handle him too much because of because he ate. I don't want it to affect his digestion, that's all. I really don't. And there is such thing as too much. Look at him. <laughs> the camera's like, what do I focus on? He's a beauty, are you, huh? Are you, bud? Show yourself off. Show yourself off, bro. Yeah, uh, we'll sh I'm gonna show you how he he looks before he puts put, even put him closer to the light. Mm -hmm. wow, look at him, guys. You see the 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 white, the, the yellow stripe back here. Beautiful. Amazing. He's a, a, an amazing, amazing snake. Amazing. I'm very excited for this guy. Come on, you can go, bud. Oh my god. Yeah, leave him, leave him out so he doesn't put like this. Don't drop him out, you know what I mean? No, no. He or she. She's in there. Very excited for this guy. Yeah, you can tell he's used to being here. Pretty docile. Pretty beautiful, yeah. too. But we'll give her, her or him some time in here. Move around and explore. Yeah, so uh, what we're going to name him or her is Keela. Keela. K I L A. I'm um, very excited for this girl or guy. I really love how he has that highlight in the middle. You guys see it? So dope. So, so dope. We're definitely going to keep you guys posted on him or her. And we'll keep you posted when we do figure that out. Because we might take her to another spot so that they can uh, sex them. Or we might do, them by do that by ourselves. But she's exploring right now. 